Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. Now with the two inch brush and just the tiniest little bit of yellow. Let's just come right up here to the sky and begin to drop in the tiniest little bit of a, of a yellow glow. I don't need too much here, just enough. Maybe this kind of works around like this, I don't know. We're gonna do something kind of fun today, maybe a, a valley. We'll do a valley today. All right. Next, with the two inch brush and a little bit of blue and red, but mostly blue. Let's come up here to the top and just drop in the rest of the sky. It's okay if it goes a little bit turquoisey because it kind of looks pretty with that yellow. Don't want it to go a bright green though, so be careful. Just be a little bit more careful. See that red in there? That's nice. That's pretty. Then you go back with the blue. And that way you kind of, you have less of a chance of getting a bright green. All right. But again, the turquoise color that you might get because of the blue and the yellow. That's just fine. I like that in the, in the skies occasionally. Next, we'll go through a little bit of yellow and red and white on the filbert brush. Then wipe a little bit of it off on a paper towel. Don't want too much on there. We'll just begin to, to drop in these beautiful little clouds up here, very soft. Oh, today we're really doing a nice soft sky. And I like that. There, do you see that? Just allow them to work right across the sky. Nice, yeah. That's looking good. Let's do another little one right up here. Beautiful. I love clouds. So much fun. Now with the filbert brush, we'll just we'll just create a little mountain back here. Just brush it right in. This is a very 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 soft purple color. Definitely don't want anything too too dark. That would bring us way too close. This is too too far away. All right. Now, as you can see, I have a nice little basic sketch of a mountain up here. So we'll just, we'll just go ahead and fill it right in. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, a little bit of white. Not much paint. See, we're still working with things that are very far away. All right, and I love doing these little outlines just makes it a little bit easier to try to figure out exactly where we're going before we're committed and we have all this mountain in there. Because it would not be too hard to take your brush and blend the sketch in to the sky. All right. Now with a very light gray color, we can just drop in a few soft shadows here. See this, you just kind of pull down and create these little pockets of shadow. All right, it's not too, not too difficult. You kind of just shape your mountain with these little shadow areas. There, don't cover the whole thing up, just here and there, wherever you feel like it would help. That's where you drop a shadow in. Now with our filbert brush and a little bit of our yellow red touch of black, let's just begin to to make some beautiful little trees way back here. Now we don't want to go overboard, so in the background we're just creating little smudges of color, not very bright. See that? They're very subtle. As we come forward, they can start to they can start to develop a little shape, a little bit of color, and all that good stuff. All right. Kind of follow the the lay of the land, create, create layers in this. Now, as you can see here, I have a little, little tiny sketch. It just looks like a little waterfall with a, with a stream coming forward. That's, that's about all it is. So we'll just continue here to paint in some evergreens. And really, this is a lot of, a lot of repetitive work. You'll get to where you paint these little things in pretty quick. You see, I'm just doing smudges of color 
That's how you make the nice big ones. The small ones in the back are more just kind of squiggling the brush. Here we're kind of smudging the color down. All right. Now maybe we want to have an evergreen right here, or a little stand of evergreens right here. I'm gonna paint that in. You have to be really careful here. If you don't, if you're not constantly thinking about the lay of the land and the way you want all of this to come together, it may not work right. Let's paint in a little bit over here. There. Well, see, just kind of drop the different colors around and make it kind of even and nice. And see, they come forward, they get a little bit darker, and they get more green. Next, with our filbert brush, we'll kind of scoop up a little bit of blue and white. And you see I've rounded the corner, I've rounded really the whole tip of the brush. I'm gonna show you how to create, right here, a little bit of a waterfall. Very, very, very subtle. Be so careful here. Okay, drag it right down. That one's tiny, and it hits down here, and then, there, and then you kinda of get back to normal. Just brush in water. We've all brushed in water before. All right. Notice the perspective. We're kind of looking down at this. We're gonna be up on a mountain viewing this whole scene. Next, with our one inch brush and some black and green, just tap the brush right in. <laughs> all right, let's begin to work on some foreground. Now, we may not be finished with the background. We might go back and add some more details. We'll see, but I just wanna, I just wanna block in the foreground here. Really get this canvas covered pretty well. See, this paint is very dark, and that'll help to bring us forward in the painting. Remember, we're gonna be up on a mountain kind of looking down into a valley. The perspective is very important today. Now we can begin thinking about a few beautiful trees out here. See, I'm just gonna push up with the fan brush and create all of these nice limbs and, and little things that hang off the tree. Little dead branches, and you get all sorts of nice effects just by using the brush and kind of stippling it like this. Don't, don't let it slide. But, but notice how you get, you get such a nice variation of things. It's not, a, it's not a perfectly symmetrical tree. That would not look good. That's not what we're trying to paint today or really ever. All right, and just continue this process. Don't want to do it everywhere though. Just do it here and there till you're, till you're happy with it. Maybe, let's do like a little, something little right there. Kind of a, kind of a stumpy one. Pretty thick and full. Oh, I like that. Changed up, you don't want them all to be the same, the same dimensions and shapes. Now we'll just continue creating these little evergreen trees. See, really doing it the same way. Just tapping and moving the brush. Look at how this paint is so dark. Look how it really creates depth. This clumping of trees and dark here that really makes this area look so far away. And I love that. So much fun to do these little effects. All right, now we can just begin to throw in a big tree. We've had enough of the small trees. We're gonna do something kind of fun here. See, I'm just doing it the same way though, nothing different. I know, let's make this trunk just the tiniest bit thicker there. We want some of that to show and want it. Oh, we want it to look like the correct proportion. Beautiful, you can always have a couple of the limbs sort of hang down, nothing wrong with that. Oh, I like it. This is fun. I love evergreen trees. And look at the contrast. Beautiful, beautiful contrast. Pushes everything back, makes it so, so effective. This one will probably go way down, probably. And we'll have to do that with highlights, but it'll probably come all the way down to here. Now with our fan brush, we can just stipple in some grass here. Now we really don't wanna overdo because we wouldn't want to lose this beautiful effect. <laughs> I really like what's going on here. So we'll just sort of throw on a little bit of this highlight. 
not too much. Now with the knife, we can begin to shape on some beautiful highlights here. Just some rocks and things out, out in this little open area. Maybe, let's also, let's do right here. Let's do an old log that's fallen over. I don't think we've ever, I don't think we've ever done one before together, so this will be fun. There you see, I'm just stippling, just like a tree. It, well, it is a tree, that's why it's just like a tree. It's simply on its side, very easy. Then we can put rocks and grass over it, and oh, that'll see it right down. Now with our fan brush and some yellow and green, just begin to drop in a few highlights here to these trees. Nice, don't wanna to go too, too bright because we don't wanna distract. However, we don't wanna leave them flat. So there's kind of a little balance you'll find. And of course, if you overdo, and it's possible you might, it's not a big deal. Just go back with a little bit of dark and darken up your tree again. Now with our filbert brush, we can just begin to drop in a few beautiful, beautiful little red and multicolored bushes. See this just dab and dot and leave nice dark areas. I don't want to cover everything up with highlight. Oh, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be as nice. Now with our liner brush, we can just, we can just pull up here to create some beautiful little grasses and, and tall weeds and things. See that? Push the log back, push all the rocks back, and oh, make a lot of nice effects. You just keep going and going and going. Really filled up. Put a lot of nice different colors in there. Don't keep them all the same. That wouldn't look good. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching.